Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. As you know, we have started chapter number 6 and it's uh, like about annotation of alignment. Now we have exercise number 2 that how to apply labels to alignment. As you know, alignments and any other drawing is nothing without annotation. So if you have annotation in your drawing text, so user can now better about the drawings. So before starting, kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Guru 04 if you are new on my YouTube channel. Then you can also like my Facebook page Land Developer and Architect Designer. Here you can share your issues about AutoCAD 73 and land surveying. Then I will explain them in a video. So let's start our tutorial exercise number two. Alignment have a special kind of annotation that is applied either to the entire alignment at once or to range a uh, range of stations either uh, within the alignment. This annotation repeats at specified increments or when specific types of geometry are encountered. These types of annotation is very useful because change uh, because it changes as the alignment changes even if new geometry is added or the length of the alignment changes. In all, you can add seven types of alignments label in this way, but we will discuss some of them. Another one you can uh, practice. In this exercise, we will use add station labels add or edit station label command to add station label station text and geometry labels to the jordan court alignment please take a notebook and uh, write down all the steps step number one open the drawing name alignment labels located in the description link i always told you that if you did not get this drawing kindly Write me in comment box. I will provide you that personally. I have already opened that drawing. You can see here we are going with real time project. So step number two, click the Jordan court alignment. As you know, we have Jordan court alignment. Then click add labels and select add you can see here we have many uh, level styles or uh, level sets you can see but we are going now with add edit station label you can try them uh, next time add edit station label step number three in the alignment label dialog box we have already opened that do the following uh, for type you need to select major stations and for major label style select perpendicular with tick then click add for increment here you can make 10 15 which you required so now we need 20 and then click ok Now you can zoom in and examine the label that have been created on our alignment. Notice that a tick mark and label have been placed at 20 meter increment along the alignment. You can see here. Step number five, click the Jordan court alignment. And again, as we have selected, if you have a press escape, then select alignment again and go to add labels add edit station labels so for the now select minor stations and verify that 
minus station level style should be tick then click add and uh, if you have here 10 now we need uh, that minor tick on 5 meters then click ok now examine the uh, step number 7 examine the alignment once more now you should see tick Mark, tick marks at 5 meter increment you can see here which means there are 3 minus tick marks between the major tick marks and level step number 8 launch the add station level command again as we did before then in the alignment level dialog box for select here type of alignment level geometry and verify that geometry point level style should be perpendicular with tick and line click add in the geometry point dialog box uncheck all another boxes except tangent curve we will see here we have tangent curve curve tangent intersect and uh, the third one reverse curve curve intersect uncheck all other and press ok two times press escape if you have uh, selected your alignment examine now the alignment labels and note the labels add pc pts and prc on the curves you can see we have another labels now for curves on our alignment step number 10 save and close the drawing as you can see we annotate our alignment very easily using add labels from the contextual tab so hope you like this video if you have any question about autocad civil 3d kindly write down in comment i will explain you that for you and please subscribe and press the bell icon to get latest notification about autocad civil 3d videos